Hi, welcome. This is Stephen Hickey with GIT, Get Into Technology. And in this short video, I want to show you how you can recognize uh, a fake email. Um, somebody trying to scam you. Um, we get them all the time. I just had one from Netflix the other day, and I woke up and I clicked on it by accident. Um, and it started off with Dear Client. So, as you can see with this in the email, it says Canada Post. Shipment notification number two, Canada Post. And it says, Dear Client, well, I'm a member of Netflix. So when they sent me the email and said, Dear Client, I should have recognized that right away, but I was tired or whatever. Uh, just waking up, um, I didn't click on. But anyways, uh, normally any um, correspondence from Netflix will send it in your name because you're a customer of theirs. They're not going to say, Dear Client. Just like this one from Canada Post, it says, Dear Client. Um, no, <laughs> I didn't have any packages coming and I didn't have any notifications left at my door or whatever. It says, we're sorry to say that we have unable to deliver your package due or to your place area on the 19th of December because no one was available at the time of delivery to sign for the item. Well, I was here all day. Nothing was arrived. Um, the fastest way to understand if this is a fake email is to take your mouse and you see how they say shipping invoice is available to download at your following link. Now I would not touch any of these emails. What you want to do is you want to delete them right away. Uh, go into your inbox or delete box and delete them out of there. Um, and they do this. Your package is not scheduled for another or for redelivery for 72 hours within 72 hours um, they get you entice you to click the link and the link who knows where that's going to take you or, or if that's going to leave a Trojan horse or malware or, uh, spyware on your computer so they can monitor anything that you're doing on your computer and if you do online banking and stuff like that they can see all that activity in the background and you would never know that they put a little Trojan horse or malware in your uh, computer because you clicked on the link now this link says www.canadapost.ca forward slash PGO tools or QO tools forward slash blah blah blah. That is not the link. If you take your mouse and you hover over top of it where it turns to a hand, now the proper link shows up, which is uh, ydhoo.com forward slash nb. I T B etc. So they've masked the um, the link they put in this email. So this is not the corresponding link that they're trying to um, make you believe. So there's something else, and it takes you to a different address. I will not click on this, but I wanted to show it to you because a lot of people are getting scam emails. Um, and so for you to understand this properly, you need to understand. When you get these emails, if you click on the link, you're open. You're opening yourself up to um, a can of misery, <laughs> if you may call it. Um, so that's the easiest way. Do not click on emails you don't recognize. Just delete them right away. Uh, and if it's coming from your um, your um, mail carrier, or if it's coming from Netflix. Um, or it's coming from whoever. No, they're going to have your name. They're not going to say, Dear Client. They're going to say, Dear Stephen. Um, or they're going to say, Hi, Stephen. Uh, we're sorry we couldn't make the package delivery today. Unable, blah, blah, blah. So just be aware of that. And this is the fastest and easiest way to understand how you, if you're getting a fake email, somebody wants to scam you, is just what I showed you. Just by resting the, the cursor over the link. And it shows you the exact link so I will not click this I will delete this after this video is done so with that I hope you uh, found this video intuitive and learned something um, please uh, subscribe to my channel and comment and share thanks for watching this video